What's up everybody, welcome to Louis Marcos. As you guys should know by now, another bodybuilder just died. First of all, you know, he is a human being, so we offer all our condolences. May he rest in peace. His name is Greg Kovacs, a Canadian bodybuilder from my country. He used to be uh, known as pretty much the strongest bodybuilder of his time, right? I'm gonna try to find you a, a picture, if available, doing some incline press. I remember him lifting like seven plates, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is it, I oh, don't know. This has sixth plate actually, which is still impressive, right? He was definitely rolling like that. He was one of the strongest bodybuilders alive in the 90s. So he died today, November 25th, 2013, at the early age, very young age of 44, uh, but it is to be noted he retired from bodybuilding in 2005 and it was not the greatest ending of a career if I might uh, say so. So uh, let's go back and take a look at him. When he was okay, when he was okay actually, uh, this is him actually on Flex Magazine. Uh, he was looking quite okay. He's a giant, so he's a big guy and usually Big guys, they have some trouble to be quite aesthetic, right? Because, you know, the, the proportions are quite hard to match. We never had, like, a uh, Mr. Olympia, like, 6'4", or things like that, right? But anyway, uh, he was okay. For a big guy, the proportions were, were just not bad, right? And then, all of a sudden, he became uh, different. He became like this. Totally uh, transformed in a very bad way. Uh, some people call this palomboism. I already spoke about this lengthily in other videos. I mean, look at that. Look how he became. Uh, I mean, weird looking physique. I mean, the, the legs melted. It's like the limbs uh, shortened and the midsection got big in a weird way. In a very, very weird way. I mean, nobody knows, uh, for instance, the exact re reason of this so-called palomboism but it happens to a lot of body look look at them they look all of a sudden weird big gut and whatever i mean i don't know almost alien looking in a sense so that was the end of uh the dead now mr craig kovacs this was like in 2005 he was still young at that age he was younger than me right uh but that's it uh, for the record, is uh, the, 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 it's called Palomboism because of his friend, this guy right here, Palombo, Dave Palombo, he's his friend, and Palomboism basically suffers from Palomboism, right? Palombo, that's it. So, this is him, look at him, I mean, he ended his career definitely not in a good way. He was okay for a giant, you can look at him here, definitely displaying some interesting muscularity uh, at that level, at that uh, tall uh, basically uh, uh, frame right look at him here he was okay here he was definitely okay look at the biceps he was nice so uh, he uh, collapsed this morning supposedly from a heart attack not the very first time guys you hear a lot of bodybuilders die from that condition so may he rest in peace uh, you know you cannot be judgmental at this level I mean these guys choose a path and it is a risky business. Needless to say, they consume a lot of uh, a lot of stuff, uh, and it is their choice, right? So there is no free ride. May he rest in peace. But it is a risky business. A lot of people basically flirt with some extreme, and those are the uh, consequences, right? Uh, what can I tell you? If you have any questions, feel free to ask them at the bottom. He was not looking healthy. I mean, by all measures, this is not a healthy physique, not aesthetic. Uh, it is just a, a problematic physique as far as I see it. Look at that. This is a side triceps. Uh, by no means, uh, I mean, everybody who is remotely connected to bodybuilding will tell you that this basically is alarming. We don't know what made him look like this. Until now, personally, I don't know what is the cause of this weird condition. A lot of guys are suffering uh, from it. All of a sudden, they start looking awkward. I mean, whatever. I mean, of course, uh, you know, bodybuilders do take 
uh, steroids, they do take uh, sinful uh, and other substances, but some of them all of a sudden start to look like alien look. Look at that. Look at the veins looking all crazy. Uh, the gut comes out. It's just insane, right? And uh, for the record, uh, I'm gonna have for, you know, just for uh, information, Dave Palombo, he, before and after, because they named this condition uh, because of him. He was okay also, Dave Palombo. He was definitely impressive, right? Even though, as I'm not mistaken, uh, he never cracked the IFBB, but he was okay. And then all of a sudden, he became like this, right? This is just, in my opinion, weird looking uh, when it comes to bodybuilding. We don't know why, what substance or what condition pushed him to become like this. And people in the forums created the condition Palomboism. Palomboism is definitely not a healthy condition, right? And for sure, Mr. Craig Kovacs was having that condition to say the least, right? So that's it. This is not a healthy body and you know the results. If you mess out with the extreme, uh, your body will make you pay for it. Anyway, uh, may he rest in peace. Uh, if you guys have any information, feel free to uh, write them at the bottom in the comment section. God bless you all. Be safe. Be safe wherever you are. No matter what you're consuming, guys. Whether it's illegal stuff or something underground. Know what you're taking. Your health, you have only one. You have only one health, right? Your limbs, you have only one limb. If you, whatever, if you lose your, your heart, uh, your organs, you know, your heart, your liver, kidneys, this is failure. You will suffer it consequences for life. Salute you wherever you are. Be fit and do not consume anything to try to be fit. Do it the proper way. Salute you wherever you are. God bless you all.